Some heavy hearts in southern Indiana after four teens were killed, several others hurt after they were hit while pushing a broken down car off the roadway. That car belonging to the mother of one of those teens as they gathered for a birthday party. Our Sarah Wagner traveled to Jackson County, Indiana today for the story. This may be the spot where so many lives were forever changed on Saturday night, but everybody in these communities is making sure this isn't where their stories end. Police tell us the victims were spending the night at a friend's house for her birthday party on Saturday night. When the girl's mother's car broke down a block away from the home, the teens went outside to help push it back to the house. That's when another car hit them from behind. 14-year-old Nevaeh Law, 14-year-old Jenna Helton, and 15-year-old Brittany Watson all died at the scene. 16-year-old Martin Martinez was airlifted to Methodist Hospital in Indianapolis, but died there. Two other teens were airlifted to Indianapolis and Louisville, and two others were treated and released. Martin was a junior at Seymour High School, and Jenna was a freshman. Nevaeh and Brittany were both freshmen at Brownstown Central High School. Today, the school brought in counselors and therapy dogs to help the students as they grieve. There are also posters set up for them to write messages to the girls. One of Nevaeh's best friends says those simple gestures are making a major difference as they try to work through this horrible tragedy. It's really nice having a lot of people to talk to and everyone in here supporting each other and everyone's just right now is caring for each other, which everyone needs it. Seymour High School also has counselors on site for the students as well as lots of volunteers from local churches. The principal says the support has been overwhelming and that his phone has been ringing off the hook from people wanting to help. As for the driver of that other car, police are still waiting on toxicology results, but don't suspect any sort of impairment, and they also don't expect any charges. In Jackson County, Sarah Wagner, WHAS 11 News.